What up, what up, Wheatfield? Welcome back to the Wheatfield. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome, Wheat. This is your girl, Lati. Here at Terrence Wheat Throw Show, we show enough, never know what you're going to get. We just did a reading, and uh, I think it might have just posted. And uh, we are feeling the energy to come back and bring another message. We about to get comfortable, y'all. We are, we, uh... Have one glass of wine. We about to pour another one. Uh, so, if y'all are opposed to wine and tarot, I don't know. You might want to exit. Yeah, I'm just saying. But if you okay with us having a sip while we bring this message, go ahead on the stage. Sit for a bit. You know what I mean? It should be good. It should, should be good. It will be good. Edifying for the spirit. Yes. We are a spiritual reader. We are not religious at all, y'all. We're not. But we are spiritual. We're bringing messages from the Alpha and Omega. You know, the Most High God. Yes. Feels us. Brings a message through us for the week feel, you know. Something to edify our spirit. Fill us up. Let us know what's going on in the energy field, beloved. Um, I'm hearing love read. I don't know if it's going to be romantic. High vibe and positive. If it's gonna be a karmic, whether it's gonna be a little bit mixed, a both beloved. I got an affirmation on mix on both. See never ending story. Ooh, see co creation is here and by the book. I feel like somebody going through a never ending story. They may have had their heart broke a couple of times who haven't, right? You know what I'm saying? But uh heart it could be fresh, it could be healing from it. You could be discouraged about love, feeling like it's ever going to come, like having gone through a series of bad relationships in the past. Not really for sure. Unfinished symphony. Ooh. Beloved, this could be a past energy coming back into you. I don't know if this past person... Mm -hmm, that's an affirmation. Yeah, or it could be the wine. Both. Yeah, okay. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if this person is going to be high vibrational or low, vi low vibration. Mm. They could be the test before the blessed, you know. Yeah. This might be somebody that sends, that like pulling on your energy. Like they may take a lot of energy to deal with. Because I saw absorb, observe, don't absorb, right? Even though we're shuffling, just to get these put up and then we're going to ring the bell and refresh the energy. I'm hearing like the incense, dragon blood, spiritual cleansing. Um, yeah. Restore yourself with some alone time. Somebody might be um, getting some alone time. Also, we gave the message of water taking a break and tapping into your spiritual power. That one just went up a little bit ago, so it'll be the one up underneath this message. If you feel like you are somebody who has had their strength and perseverance, test it in a spiritual way, like um, going through a lot of hardships, things like that, then like, you know, you at odds in with the most high beloved, you know, friendly is here. Maybe it could be some friends around you, somebody that's acting for you, that's really not friends with you. Or maybe you feel like, you know, frenemy enemy. A frenemy enemy. Frenemy energies and frenemies and enemies surround you. And like maybe that's all the most high God sent to you. Um we see great mind. It's a lot of energy in this deck. Um I'm going to pull back on that. Um, but if you feel like you have gone through a lot of spiritual tests recently and trying to stay encouraged and not lose faith, maybe you have lost some faith, maybe you feel depleted, you know what I mean? Um, maybe check out that last message, the last reading. It may have something in it for you. Turn your friends into enemies or turn your enemies into friends. I'm feeling, again, frenemies. But turn your enemies into friends, sweet. And don't burn your bridges. You can't be friends with everyone. I'm still feeling like that past person. You know, it could be multiple people in your life that's presenting a challenge. Communicate appropriately is here. 
Always use appropriate communication tools for different people in different environments. Appropriate communications with your spouse, kids, boss, or coworkers can deepen your connections to others, build greater trust and respect, and improve teamwork, problem solving, and overall social and emotional health. So do feel like the energy of communication and communicating appropriately is going to be a part of this reading, right? Prevention is better than a cure. Mm -hmm. So maybe communicate with this person, set some good boundaries if they come in to you so that they don't get the wrong idea about things. You can head off a bad situation before it even gets started. My spirit left on that, beloved, right there in the kingdom. Hit me in the gut. Yeah. Uh, energy of walking away. See a past person, emperor. They could be single, you could be single. Maybe they're trying to manifest some sort of opportunity with you. They could be looking at you, watching you, trying to figure out a way and opportunity to enter into your world, your cycle, right? That kind of thing, a way to slip on me and I'm feeling enter there again. Yes, thank you to the Alpha and Omega for bringing a message. You are protected. You block this person out. You may have blocked communication with this person. And again, I feel like communication is a thing with this person. You may have to be assertive, communicate appropriately, um, but you may have to, to communicate appropriately and assertively, like set the boundaries or standard like that. See, I said it and I'm standing on it. Like I said it and I meant it, type of energy like that. We, mm, that's what we feel in. Get more information is here and reflect. So somebody may be doing some reflecting while they're in this never-ending story of fitness symphony type of energy. This could be you. This could be the past person that's coming in, past person that's coming in. They probably need to reflect on self and get more information. You are ready. And I'm feeling transformation. Yes. Feeling transformation, you are ready. Yes, maybe move to or something new, right? A new love coming towards you. Again, a test before a testing before the blessing. Something, yes, you something better. Something better is coming in. Absolutely. Some you're uninterested in this past person, preferring maybe you are uninterested in dating at all. Like right now, you know, they're picking up that energy. Like a lot of people are kind of uninterested in dating. They are really like focusing on self, whether it's stability, whether it's personal growth, spiritual, professional, whatever the case may be. Um, I prefer to keep my focus on my own life right now. Just focusing on self, getting self right. That's what I feel. Getting self right plans. The Most High God may have other plans. <laughs> Date, see? The Most High God got other plans. See, this could be the old person when they date you and somebody that you want to date you. Which one will you choose? Big favor in envy. This keeps coming out. Somebody may be getting asked to ask, ask for a favor. Um, maybe a loan could be money. You know what I mean? Maybe they need help in some sort of way. They could be low on money. It could be a trick. They could be just trying to use that as um, a way to play on your empathy because you're an empathic person, very empathetic. I'm hearing empathetic, right? We see entertainment. I find your life amusing and your story's comical. New person. Maybe you, the way you talk and the way you express yourself, they find it amusing. Maybe you guys laugh a lot together, joke, you know, kind of thing, joyous. I'm really saying laugh, laughter, laugh. Brag and revenge. Maybe somebody is bragging about getting revenge on you, or maybe because you may look like you're doing good. Somebody's bragging about getting revenge on you. They're talking about it to somebody else. Like they can come in to get something from you. I'm seeing that favor card. Big favor. Yeah, somebody from your past. 
I still haven't gotten over what occurred in the past. Not for sure what happened for the breakup. I'm hearing cheating slip up. I saw the energy of adventure. Adversity is not the best way to learn, beloved. You learn something this person really hasn't. Your past person has it. They're still out for revenge and they're actually talking to others about it. Like bragging. Either they got revenge or you took some sort of revenge to try and punish you. And they brag about what they did to you. Which is fucked up because if they're still trying to come into you to get something from you, like that feels very dark and malicious. Divine assistance is here. We see divine assistance. Like the angels, the legion, the most high God, your um spirit guides, your spirit tuning is going to help you either with discernment, um, putting you up on game, relaxing challenge. It's a test before the blessing. Right? Can y'all see that? I embrace all tests. It's definitely an, an opportunity. For you to exercise discernment, communication skills, something happening now, don't accept it because acceptance is in reverse. Right? Yeah. Let me love and accept myself as you love me. May I find you shining brightly within my own being. Somebody doesn't see the most high God within them. Like, they have a low vibration of spirit attached to them, I feel. Now, in the holy space between, you're definitely between the past and the future, in the now. And now, presently, you're focusing on self. You want to read that? No, focusing on self. Generosity and mystery. Mystery. I definitely feel generosity. You're a generous person, very empathic. This person feels like they can come towards you to get something from you. And they brag about it to other people. But I also see mystery in terms of resting in the mystery of the unknown, like the wisdom of the unknown, right? You don't know that this person is coming towards you. If you do and it has happened, then communicate appropriately. Maybe you don't know what they're doing behind your back. You may not. Maybe you don't know about the new person that's coming in. You may not know that either because you're just really focusing on self. That's your focus. Beauty. Focusing on self. On your own beauty. I am a spark of divinity. I'm getting called to this deck of cards that we haven't used in. Like we hardly ever use this deck. But that beauty card made it call out to us. Where is it? It's back there. Thank you, beloved. Thank you. Yeah. We gotta figure out how to get to it. get through all this stuff to get down here and get these cards. Oops. Y'all, we got so many decks of cards, it's not even funny. And sometimes when we restack them, we don't stack them back the way that they're supposed to be, so then they all really want this and subject to fall over. But I definitely hear falling over, tumbling down, tower moment, right? Like somebody may have gone through a tower moment. And, yeah, look, we got to move all these out the way. Don't, 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 don't judge to get to these. You want both of these? Yeah. Is there something else in here you want? No. Put that back. You want this one too? What did we throw on the floor? Because if we don't pick them up, then we won't know where they went. And that would be a hot mess, beloved. Okay. Who's that? And they definitely, again, are misstacked. It's almost like stacking, you know, uh, something where it's not stable. Yes, thank you. It's not stable. It's like an unstable foundation and tower moment. Everything came crashing down. Whatever your past person was in was an unstable situation and everything came crashing down below the 1459. 1449. Mm. 
communication. Thank you. We see sculpture of self, shape the sculpture of self, honoring the perpetual act of forming and expressing identity. I feel like that's what you're doing right now, focusing on self, right? Yes, I feel revelations awake. I felt the spirit affirm that. You are just focusing on self. Revelations awake. You're going to have something revealed onto you. And we see plan wisely. Plan wisely. Something unexpected is coming into you. It's a plan, right? Frost of stillness. Embrace the frost of stillness. Wearing the calm of the icy pause, reflective clarity is found, right? Cultivate successful thought, meticulous research, strategic plotting, a plan. It's definitely a plan. You're going to have something revealed all while you're working on self, I feel. You're working on you. It's a lab. It's a maze. The unknown. The wisdom of the unknown. Almost feeling like you have to lean into your instincts to get through this space, beloved. Going forward. You're moving forward. Don't go backward. It's what I'm feeling. Keep moving forward. Yes, yeah, so whispers. Look beyond the words and hear what's really being said now and it definitely says now hearts desires what does your heart really desire does it really want that past person no i still have to know cloud of unknowing the wisdom mystery of the unknown is something that you don't know Flow on the clouds of the unknown. Surrender to the mystery and embrace the sacred within. Heart's desire. Embrace this space of unknown, the wisdom right now. Something is happening. Something in the unknown. You're not supposed to know. I feel like if you knew, then you wouldn't go. Plan wisely. See? Again, chess. Chess, not checkers. Cultivate success. Thought. Cultivate success through meticulous research and strategic plotting. I feel like the most I got is being strategic in this plot. It is working things out. It is working in the unknown. In the space that you are unaware of. Winds of good fortune and inner vision. Fast progress. Again, moving forward. It's, something's going to move quickly. Charging ahead. Winds of fortune. Allow the winds of fortune to guide your sails. Maneuvering through life's opportunities. Challenges with adaptability. And we saw a challenge. We saw a test. We felt that energy. The testing before the blessing. Inner vision, cut through the fog of confusion with your power of discernment. And we said that you would have to use your discernment. Y'all see that? Wow. It is all about you being able to use your sight, not being able to see the third eye, seeing with your spiritual eye, your gut, your instinct. Leaning into the wisdom of the unknown. Letting the Most High God guide you. Eclipse of concealment. You're not supposed to see this, beloved. You're not. It's hidden. Yes. Metamorphosis. Mirage. Something is not what it seems to be. It's a mirage. Heart's desires, whatever it is, is leading you to your heart's desires. That's for sure. Yes. Dream Weaver. Dreaming and imagining. Bring your powerful vision into reality. Bringing your powerful vision into reality. What do you see with your third eye? Yeah. It's concealed. Medal of moments. Bask in the medal of the moment. In the now. Where presence blossoms into the simplicity of now. Of now. Just stay in the now. 
right now you are focused on self you are focused on your own development you are focusing on your own beauty the beauty of life itself and as you stay in that space focusing on self the beauty of the whole personal spiritual professional development you will call in your soulmate beloved but i feel like it's going to be a test before the blessed souls of balance coming to balance balancing those things personal spiritual professional yes coming to balance anything else in here nope i'm here and ring the bell rising flames mm. let your passion guide you to the fulfilling purpose that was meant for you mm, mm, mm. something from the past I feel like this test is coming to show you, to teach you something, or for you to pass the test and move on to the next, right? Blocking out communication with this person or whatever communication you have with this person. How they get past your block, I don't know. I'm hearing fake accounts. Um, they could be watching your social. You know what I mean? We don't know what's in the key for that, but... They're going to find a way to get past the block and communicate with you. They may show up somewhere. They may just so happen run into you kind of thing, right? Yeah. We see Eight of Swords energy and this Emperor tied up in their head and trapped and snared. Could be with the emotions of you recognizing, you know, some feelings, some emotions, recognizing that they were in something that was built on a false foundation. Could be. I don't know how many rings that was, but I was getting the energy of 10 when we were reading, you know. Endings, new beginnings. Three. We have some over there that's not quite finished burning, unfinished symphony. But most I said, we're not going to go back to the unfinished. We're going to start new. Beloved, this one. Green. Heart chakra. Energy. Even though purple, intuition, third eye, but it's something about matters of the heart, heart's desires. Yes. Cleanse this space. Most high God, we thank you to Alpha and Omega for coming in to bring the message. Let it be brought in truth and clarity. Allow the person that needs to hear this message to come in to receive it. Let them take what is needed and whatever doesn't resonate. Hopefully, they leave it right there on the plate. Yes. New life. New life. New energy. Getting over the hump. Quantum leaping. It's a quantum leap. And then cycles. I feel of abundance. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, beloved. And then back to the beginning, and I feel going forward. Yes. Could be ten events, ten things that have happened, ten pentacles, ten swords, harsh ending. Alpha and Omega, shape shifters. And fairy oracle. What I was saying was this beauty card that's in this fairy oracle. Do you want this one first? This one. Follow me. Follow me. And we see a secret path. Secret. Secret path was left in the box. You want the book? You want the cards? No. Okay. Fairy tales, letting go, detachment, moving on. Somebody getting ready to move on. 
Somebody need to move on far, far away. Moving on far, far away to the land. Far, far away. <laughs> Creative and daydreaming. You may be feeling far, far away. A golden gift. Magical help is on the way, beloved. A magical gift is on the way. Starry beginnings. A new beginning. You want the cards? You want the book? Okay, anything in here? No. Breathe love. Breathe love into your life. Breathe love into your life. Remind yourself to breathe. Beloved, remind yourself to breathe. Be clear on what you want. What are your heart's desires? See, in this space, you may be figuring that out. Again, personal development, personal, personal, spiritual, and professional development. What is that? What is it that your heart desires, beloved? And I feel like in this space, in the now, that's what you are working out. That's what you are discovering. Book. Let's get into it. This one. You are unlike anyone else. You are unlike anyone else. Look at that. See, this past person has realized that you are unlike anyone else, beloved. Most High said, put that right there. Your contradictions and complexities are interesting. You're a mystery. Little Red Riding Hood. I am not a victim. I am not a victim. See, she got the wolf with her. Like, what? Conquering. I'm a victor. I am not a victim. I know how to take the darkness and turn it into light. Have it work for the good, beloved. Little Red Riding Hood from the hood. I feel like it's the hood in you. Your hood and your professionalism. Artemis of the Forest. And sacred veto armor. You have a mighty shield. You're strong. You have a shield around you, over you. You're tough. You are persevering. And they, it's almost like, how do you do it, right? Like, how do you take the things that are meant to be for your detriment, things that people do against you and make it work for your good? Like, again, the, the wolf was supposed to come and eat her, and she done got the wolf on their team again, making enemies your friend. Artemis of the forest. Now you are independent and free. Right now, you are independent and free. Right? And I'm feeling like you are surrounded by protection, by those who, look, and she's got, she's a priestess. You see this moon on top of her head? Definitely a priestess. Definitely somebody that has a gift, that has secrets revealed onto them. And as you go through this space of the now, in your independence, in your space of, even if it's like, again, that singleness, right? Your single season, you are developing self personally, spiritually, professionally, using all the tools, everything that has come against you, all the dark, all the things that people will nip and eat at you, I feel like um, you pulled your power back and you're using it. You're making it work for you. You're making it good for you. The things that people would take away from you, things that would people would feel like that's a detraction or a takeaway, a contradiction, you use it for your good. You use it. Transformation. Dragon Lane Garden, a new world is born. Definitely a new world is coming. Your world is changing. I feel wisdom. I feel abundance. I feel multiplication, right? I feel, I mean, 
flexibility. I feel innocence. I feel royalty. I feel passed over loved ones, cardinal energy. Anything else? Nope. Snow White and all her animal friends. You inspire trust and confidence. You inspire trust and confidence and the fairy fairy ring. New skills, advanced training, rapid improvements. And we saw a fast movement forward changes. But see, in this space of the unknown, your being is things that are coming out to you um, as you develop you now, focusing on you personally, spiritually, spiritually, personally, and professionally. And then I feel that last pillar, romantically, is going to come in. We are, I mean, I feel that you are a shapeshifter, right? You are able to morph your contradictions in your complexities, right? You are able to use, yeah, I am, I'm hearing Lilith energy, the ability to take dark energy or dark matter and transform it into light. Shapeshifter. Thank you to the Most High God for bringing this message. This one. Your imaginary friend is here. Your imaginary friend. We see this fascinating, quirky, familiar asks you to pay attention to all of the beautiful treasures buried in your memory. In your memory. Suffocating in old chests and stuffed away in drawers. It's time to rediscover it something discarded when you reclaim it and it's worth you can keep it share it or give it away or recreate something from it you must touch it feel it and know it again this darling imaginary friend reminds you that childhood friends and treasures know your ancient history this past person may know your history right and i also feel like the energy of trying to use something against you right bragging to others that they can take revenge against you for something with something reconnecting with them can awaken reawaken potentials you have shut down for some time your talents and imaginings of your younger days can be revisited and even restored such jewels and wonders await you and they are all in the memories of your past past I still haven't gotten over what occurred in the past, but associated with this is bad news and dishonesty and some sort of plan. We it is right, but I feel like the trick for you, which is great, testing before the blessing, right, is that you are gifted in such a way that whatever this person brings towards you, again, it's like, how do you keep becoming a victor? Or a vic you know, because I'm not a victim, right? Um, how do they keep taking the things that we throw at them that they're supposed to, I'm hearing the word thwart, thwart them, to stop them, interrupt them, you know, cause chaos in their life because they didn't have a falling down. Shit is fucked up because... They foundation just got rocked, beloved. Um, it was false anyway. It wasn't stable. Um, but whatever it was, they're trying to use something against you to stop you, to come against you. Um, I'm hearing vendetta. Like this person has a vendetta against you. Your imaginary friends. You have some very important mementos, treasures, and keepsakes. A keepsake. You have something with you that they gave you. I'm here and get rid of it. Whatever it is that this past person, I feel like you will feel it in your gut. Somebody from your past gave you something and the spirit wants you to get rid of it. Um, Artemis of the Forest. And we actually pulled this. This card came out when we were shuffling, right? Artemis of the Forest. And we mentioned, you know, um, her being there naked and free. Now you are, what does it say? Now you are independent and free. I'm trying to read the card on here. I can't see that. It's right here. Message. Now you are independent and free. So spirit doubling down on that energy. 
right? It says, Artemis of the forest speaks. This is a time for you to go into some kind of wilderness and wild place. Whether this place is within you or out in the world, I feel it's within. Within. It is time for you to take, it is time for you to become self-reliant. See, personal development, spiritual, personal, professional development. It is time for you to become self-reliant, quiet, stealthy, mm, stealthy, and aware, right? And in the last reading, the Most High God was teaching somebody how to appropriately use the art of deception because deception is not inherently good or bad, beloved. beloved. So if that resonates with you, go back and watch that last reading. You must take your place as being, you must take your place as a being who can survive and support yourself. You may see this as a test or hardship, but it is a great moment of coming into your own power, beloved. You have your quiver, your arrows and bows, and the companionship of the animals, the hounds, the deer, and the trees. You are able to take what must be taken for survival at this time. When you hunt, do so with honor. See, you may need to hunt, right? And hunters do use a sense of deception, but there's an honor associated with it. When you hunt, do so with honor. Eat what you have grown and create your own meals. This way you will grow in valor and connect more and more to the cycles of this world. Anything else in here? Nope. You want another card? Nope. This one. Fairy Oracle 3620. This one is... So we have Story Keeper, Tell Your Story, Legacy, Write Your Wisdom, and it has a reverse meaning. We're on a reversal of this right here. It says, refusing to believe you can edit your experience and recreate the tale you are telling others. Not understanding that the tale of your life is in your own hands, it's past person. Yes, not recording the significant moments of your life, having intentions to write, not only to write for yourself, but to communicate with others and leave a legacy, but not taking action. This person is not taking some sort of action, and the action that they're not taking is editing their own experience and recreating the tale that they are telling others. Are they refusing to believe they can edit? They are editing their experience and recreating the tale that they are telling others. I'm hearing lies and deceit. Yeah. Feeling that you are not in touch with the wisdom keepers, that that ancient and deep knowledge is not for you. I'm hearing they are not in touch with the wisdom of the gatekeepers. Underestimating the power of storytelling, of myth and fable. So they're underestimating the lies that they are telling. You did want the other card. Can we get back to it? I don't know where it was. Golden gift. We did see this as well. Magical help is on the way. Divinatory meaning, so this is in the upright. A fairy healing is coming. Healing, lifting, and dissolving depression and bringing sensual bliss. Sensual bliss, okay? Calming your frustration and any anger you may have. And I just got hot as hell all of a sudden. Ooh, beloved. And this smoke is really kicking up. Okay. I'm blowing away. I feel something hot, something smoky, almost smoldering. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is. It, I look. Okay. It says, calming your frustration and any anger you may have felt towards others who you feel have hurt you. Tenosaurus energy. Helping you complete healing, soothing, nourishing, uplifting, bliss. 
and enjoyment, happiness, delight. <laughs> I feel. Mm. Your emotions are stabilizing and running fresh and pure again. Stagnation is leaving. And you will now receive clear fairy communications about healing modalities, which will work with your energy. We're gold, golden, yeah, which will magnify or amplify the message of this gentle healing card. Know that while the dear queen is gentle, her power is enormous and her touch is transformation itself. Shape shifting, empathy with gentle forms of nature, Feminine power, return of sexual feelings and sensuality. No wonder why I got hot as hell all of a sudden. <laughs> Look at this. Return of sexual feelings and sensuality. So if you have not been feeling the energy of it, then beloved, it may be returning on to you. I'm just saying. Riddle Fisher, divination, seeking out and finding answers. See that labyrinth, the mystery of the unknown, journeying through the now, um, discovery, personal, spiritual, spiritual, personal, and professional development. Time to seek out help in the fairy realm to find what is lost. Something is lost. Recovering lost memories past life readings and issues coming to the surface, going through the emotional waters that are deep, deep knowing, and knowing it is safe to do so. Feeling your feelings, feel the feelings and knowing their wisdom, searching for an answer, water divining, using pendulums and finding clues to quandaries. Just as you are searching for answers, a fairy is searching for answers too. They love your puzzles and will find things. The puzzle, see that labyrinth, is that uh, maze. That's a whole puzzle. Help you get through it, right? Yes. It says, they will help find things and answers and pieces of information for you that will put the current jigsaw into a meaningful picture for you. Come at this time. Allow this fairy to go on the search for you. You may not find the answers you are looking for, but what you will find is right for you. You may not find exactly what you are looking for, but you will find what is right for you. The unicorn and the maiden. You may find a unicorn. You may be the unicorn and find a maiden. I don't know. Communication. Communication. Communication with the unicorn. Purification. Undercover action. In this beautiful card, the sacred unicorn and the magical fairy maiden are preparing for a mission. The maiden lives in the world, the real world, as we say, that we inhabit day to day. There she does undercover work on behalf of all that is magical, true, and soulful. Her ally, the unicorn, is to go to the etheric places and share her work with creatures too long in hiding and ask them to come forward and let themselves be known again. I'm here and let themselves be known again. Bringing them forward from the spirit realm. It's a gift that you have. Yeah. Crystal magic. See, it's a gift that you have. Magic. Creation dawn in the beginning. Creating your own world. The end of chaos. Ten of swords. The end of chaos, a betrayal, a harsh ending, but also a new beginning. Independence and freedom we also saw. And this says freedom to choose. Singing your own song. Freedom of movement, grace, and meaningful activity. Beginnings to new ventures that are divine. The origins of a new venture. The ability to heal or amplify energy crystals. Working with true energy. Dance and movement to express yourself. Healing through sound, crystals, dance, and energy. Ecstatic movement. Dancing as if you are alone. No self-conscious. No guilt. 
total bliss and being. Yes. Starry beginnings. Something is beginning. A harsh ending and a new beginning. Um, miracles happen. Get ready for a miracle. Yes. Um, the additional met give the universe your clear intention. And, and they said that already to be clear on what it is that you want. A clear intention. Clear. Okay. Uh, miracles and manifestation happen very quickly. Fast movement, movement forward. A, uh, 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 picking up the pace. Things speeding up. Testing. Blessing. I feel. It says, but don't put your hand up and then drop it away and then put it halfway up. Hesitate, turn around and look the other way. Be clear. Give the universe your clear intention. I want to catch this bus. Whatever this is, it will arrive very quickly. Be love in all situations and watch your life unfold beautifully like a flower in full bloom. Blessings, dear child. Love and blessings. Love and blessings. Anything else? Nope. Wisdom. Love. Which one? Is that the one I'm seeing? It? Okay. This one. Ooh. Look. Look what, what's on the top. New beginning in love. Ah. We see thinker. We see orphaned. Somebody is thinking about a sense of abandonment. Maybe they feel like you abandoned them. Maybe you felt abandoned. Soulmates. See, look, soulmates. A change in the wind is coming. Definitely a change in the wind. Music stop playing. Music. Let the music play. They will feel it away. And they always do that. It's buffering. Definitely in the space of the now. Now is coming in. What happened? Just stop. And look, all I want is you. That's the name of the song. All I want is you. And it's so funny. Like, even, look, trust. And it's a message coming in. A message. This is bad news. Trust that somebody is going to reach out to you. Chop wood. Something to be cleaned up. Sleep their ass out so you can get to the new. That's what I just felt. But um, I feel like it's something to be cleaned up. A risk. This person may either want you to take a risk or the risk is going to be for you to reject this person and move forward. But it's almost like, you know, why is it risky most times for them to move past somebody that they are blocked out? You know, they block this person out. There are no communication, no contact, right? So why would it be a risk? For you to guys, for you to go all the way to trust, peace, truth. See, this person is not bringing any. The lies have disturbed your peace, and I feel like you cut it off because of that round and round that's in reverse. So you're no longer going around and around with this person. You don't want to call anything back into your life that's going to disturb your peace. But whatever this person is going to say to you, however they get around your block, it may get to you. Because again, they know you. They know things about you from your past. And they're going to try to get you roped in using something from your past to pull on your heartstrings, on your empathy. But this person is not for you. They're not. You see the chess pieces. They're not for you. There's something better. Have confidence and know that it's coming. Be flexible. Maybe they're going to want you to be flexible with something. Yeah, because they know something from your past. Community. Could have been something you guys did together. Treasure Island. You definitely have a gift. Never ending story. Whatever they're saying to you or they're going to say, it may be something that was 
again old from your past like damn this shit just won't go away type of energy like why why is this coming up now it's something that you have to get past it's something that you need to do time to go it's here time to move forward past this thing all that glitter isn't gold beloved and it's definitely something related to your community could be old friends and family something that you need to clean up something that you need to face something that you even maybe even still think about you know that comes up within you loyal heart though i feel like it's a blessing like you're going to have this soulmate energy and you're going to end up being happy breathe and meditate right it's going to be like a breath of fresh air you're going to be like a breath of fresh air to this person you're not you're unlike anyone else i'm feeling breath of fresh air type of energy yeah yang look the yang and the yang Bam, yang and the yang. Ooh, made my sick spiritly. That's a risk. You're talking about going all the way with it to go forward with this new relationship. But I feel like you're poised for success. And everything that you've gone through, your gift and everything gives you a leg up. I feel your spiritual help gives you a leg up. And it's time. It's time. Like divine timing is at play. You could be... TikTok could be significant, but I feel like TikTok, like the clock is ticking. Something for you to clean up. Something that you are unaware of. Something that you need to see. Something that you're sleeping on, but something that's being brought to the forefront so that you can deal with it. Right? Somebody may have slept on you. Some You may be sleeping on the fact that somebody's watching you. Yeah, you're sleeping on the fact that somebody's watching you. Again, somebody's still going around and around with something in the background, in exchange. I feel like it was off balance or they want to come in and ask you for something, ask you to give them something. We do see spirit. You know, imagine what is your heart desiring. I feel like whatever you want, whatever you imagine, you can have it. You only need to be clear about it and ask. Yeah, happy, happy, happy. Whatever it is that you are asking for, whatever you want, be clear about it. You can have it. Trust and have faith, beloved. Yeah, go the distance. You can go all the way. And look, why? Why is here? And I also hear, like, something catching up with you. This past person, pentacles, juggling, struggling, or just, you know, coming to balance with something. Ace of Cup of Love. Somebody may have juggled you, you know. that I'm seeing the Ten of Swords at the trail. Again, they may have juggled you. But I feel a new love is on the horizon, right? Like a new opportunity of, of I'm hearing love of a lifetime. A new opportunity, love of a lifetime is what I'm getting. Yeah, four of pentacles. Something is trying to hold you back or you may be holding back from this opportunity because you're focused on self. You could be having gone through this test with this person. You may, both of them may come on in around the same time, beloved. You could be dealing with both of these things and not really for sure what to do. I feel like being, like holding on to self, spirit, professional, and personal development. But you're going to get a download of an opportunity for something. See, hangman, it's a download. Something that you don't see. It's something that you don't see. See, there's that betrayal, lies, and deceit. Lies and deceit. Somebody from your past. And whatever this past situation is, is causing you a sense of anguish. Something that you need to heal from. Something that needs to change. And there's that opportunity. That's what I was saying. That download that I was picking up. Right? It's an opportunity to change. An opportunity to change the wheel. To move forward. 
to push past this issue. That's what this is. You're definitely independent and we see an ending, but that's always a new beginning. Always a new beginning. And I'm hearing a new beginning in love. Love of a lifetime, beloved. I feel like it's going to be hot. Like, man, look. Love of a lifetime. It's going to be hot. Y'all, okay, <laughs> look, with the night of one, <laughs> I don't feel like there's going to be no in and out energy, but I feel like this person is coming in. When I say when this shit change, they're going to come in quick and somebody going to be upset. King of Swords energy that's thinking that they slick. They're going to get karmatic justice, beloved. They're going to get it. They're going to get some justice. For real. For real. Yeah, because they toxic. Look at that. They fucking doing some bullshit, right? I'm feeling options and, you know, we see recognition. Daydreaming. Options. Confusion. They confuse you. They confuse on how you keep coming to victory. How do you keep overcoming? Because you're not a victim. That little red riding car, you're not a victim. They confuse over how you keep coming to victory. Your victory is confusing the shit out this person. The fact that you're happy, but we feel this happiness, this bliss, that is enlightened them, beloved, that you got spiritual help. You're not by yourself. You got a gift. Ace of Cups of Love, brand new love coming in. What the who? A what? A uh, emperor? Oh yeah. See, they that 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 night showed up. You might even be holding back, thinking that this person is a player or whatever, but they not. They just motivated. They like look on it like Johnny on the spot. I told you, most high guys said it, it's gonna move quick and whatever. I mean, fast paced, moving forward, but loving. I'm in his life to what you ain't gonna want to miss out on this opportunity. No, you're not, because look what's right behind that. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody pissed though. They may have lost a whole bunch of shit. They might have. Because, look, we see King of Wands, Page of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. This person could have actually had a lust for money. But this new person coming in, this emperor, I'm talking about Big Schlick Energy, BDE, Whitbread. Ha, ha, ha. And they already got their eye on you. They already, look, I'm telling you, somebody already watching you, Page of Swords. They already know they want to invest with you with the Seven of Coins, Okay. If somebody else could look, somebody could also be a thief. They may want you to invest something financially, you know what I mean? Five of Swords energy was behind that. So this past person, see Knight of Cups, a love offer. They may see you as a person that's successful with money, right? King of Wands energy is here. High Priestess Secrets. And Eight of Pentacles. It could be something about what you do for work. You know, you may make a little coin yourself. Successful. This and, and empathetic. This person wants you to come in and do something for them. Beloved. See Magician, Manipulation, and Three of Pentacles. Not only are they collaborating with others, but they are manipulative. Is this this person or is this a we? We both. Okay. So you are a person who can manifest because you have the ability to take dark matter and change it into light. Whatever the fuck these people throw at you, they hit my spirit in the gut. Um, whatever these people threw at you, you are able to flip it and manifest for self. But they are a manipulative group. But this opportunity, you can take this right here and turn it into opportunity for self. It's an opportunity for healing, to address something from the past old emotions or whatever the case may be clear things up grow you up so that you can sweep some shit out and receive what's coming in for you and i feel like these people gonna get karmatic justice at the same time because now i'm seeing it's working on both sides the most high god is gonna work this shit out it is 
Because I feel like it's not just... Because, see, they bragging to other people about revenge. See, giving and receiving. You're going to get something back, I feel. Or whatever that they're giving out, they're going to get back. It's going to be divvied up. And accounting is getting ready to happen. Skills is getting ready to... Uh, and look, new beginning with the relationship. Fool to partnership. But there's definitely some chaos and conflict or some goddamn competition. And you're going to have to make a choice. The testing. Boom. Tower. Testing. Before the blessing. And just like on them cards fail, we call it tower energy. That something was built on a false foundation and it's coming down. It's coming down. Not just for you, but for others too. This shit is burning. False foundation. Towers and them. This shit is coming down. And it's a plan. Good news, but it ain't good news. It's bad news. This news is going to be working for you. And look... See, Ten of Wands, struggling. Five of Swords, yeah, Nine of Cups. Somebody was selfish, bragging about how they can get something from you, telling other people that shit. But you got a whole new beginning coming. Look, an offer. Stable. Stability. This other person is lustful. And they're going to be in regret for, I feel a leader of the pack, leader of the group, king of wands energy. This person is leading others. They are telling this story. They are communicating this story to others and it's lies and deceit. Like, it's fuckery. See, queen of swords, king of cups energy. You may have... This could be the two other people. Because I just got two different energies. A queen of swords and a king of cups. So it could be two dudes and a woman. I feel like the spirit is going to shine some light on this. You're going to see who bringing you this shit. Two of cups. Two of heartache. Hierophant. King of pentacles. Hierophant to the empress who blocked out some shit see this could also be a healing energy this person over here that's going to come in with some healing they may be waiting for an opportunity to address you or come towards you with this Two of Cups energy. You know, healing heart. But this somebody else may actually be heartbroken. You know, King of Pentacles, money. This person has, in, has money. Hierophant, I feel over it. I feel spiritual judgment. A recompense. A balancing of the scales. A strong one, too. Spiritual strength gain, but I feel like this is a strong victory for you. You just may not know it. We see Empress energy. I'm feeling you getting married, bossing up, Emperor and Empress energy. Somebody that does have a lot of money. This person is gracious. They're giving. They are generous. I feel generous. See, but we see this battle blocked the fence or this person is coming to you with chaos and conflict. We see Queen of Wands. See you that okay, see seven of wands, you so you could be uh battling this person. You definitely are somebody with a gift, right? Definitely gifted. Magician, see, you have this wine, that staff, and in their hand, of course, they're holding the wine. I feel like you know how to wield it. And this person, King of Wines, that's your ex, I feel. I do feel like cheating or something was involved, right? Because this could be a very sexual-based couple, very good-looking, egocentric. But I don't feel like that you were egocentric. I don't feel like you were, like, um, arrogant 
or like somebody that sleeps around. I don't get that. I feel that you were that you. I feel spiritual. I feel empathic. And your empathy. Yeah. You made decisions. You probably don't understand why. You made the decisions that you made. But it's something in your past that happened. That this person knows about. And they can use that against you. I feel like they do that. And they're going to come in for something. If it's not something that you did, it's something it's something that they know about you. Something that would get to you. Something that you need to clear out. Something that you need to heal. You could have done something, I don't know. But whatever it is, it's definitely hidden. It's something that you're holding on to. It's something that you don't want to give up. It's something that you don't want to release. Is that right? Yeah. And I, I'm not for sure what it is. Good, bad, and different. But whatever it is, it's something you don't want people really to know about, beloved. I'm getting the energy of shame around it. But this person from your past knows it. Forgiveness. And see, envy. Yes, forgiveness, envy, something, health, surrender, something for you to release, something that's not healthy for you. Wow, loneliness is here. This person is coming in. Or maybe you have a sense of loneliness. Maybe you're holding on to past friendships. But definitely judgment is being called, beloved. These incense usually go out, but they didn't. They burn it down to the bare end, beloved. I feel like one of them is getting ready to burn the stick. Like it needs to burn all the way out. Gratitude. I feel like once you get through it, green heart chakra, you're going to have gratitude for it. See, blame. You blame yourself for something. Blame. And you're worried about it. Whatever this is, it causes you a sense of worry. See, worry. It causes you a sense of worry. And indecision, regret. These are low vibrational energies, failure that you need to release. So, and I feel like that's a part of what you're working out in this space. We see trust, patience is here, but most of all, they want to see trust. Regret, I know that I cannot change the past. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Peace. You want peace. And this new person is going to come in with peace. We see patience and purpose. I feel like if you be patient, you'll see the purpose in all of this. Relationships. See, you're going to be grateful for this new relationship. But relationships are assignments. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. And honesty and freedom, right? Definitely. And imagination, seeing things clearly, getting clear on what it is that you want, right? Having courage is going to be successful. Victorious, right? Balancing, a balancing is coming. It is. And we see self-esteem and growth. Maybe you grew into this Queen of Wands energy. Maybe something in the past days you weren't so confident about self and you did something. Perseverance is here. Something that's been with you for a long time, beloved. We see self-worth is here. So true. 
Thank you guys so much for being here with us on the Tears and Weeks of Rose Show. Where you showing us, never know what you're going to get. I'm here romance angels to close with. You deserve love. You are lovable. It's definitely the energy that's right there on top. You do deserve love. Move your body. If you're stagnant, move. Right. Growing our self-love. See, there was something with growing self-love. Most high God said, but you're on the edge of something great. Can you feel it? Yes, there is risk, uncertainty, and imperf imperfections ahead. Failure is certain. And we saw energy of failure. It is certain. And vulnerability is a requirement. Can you be <laughs> Can you be courageous enough to be vulnerable? You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. Move forward with courage. You're on the edge of something great. And we saw that. Come to the edge. You're on the edge of something great. But there's something in your past you have to address first. Growing our self-love is medicine to this world's broken heart. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, you are able to give the world more grace. Look at yourself with a grace filter. You are meant to be in this moment of life. Release the inner critic and fill in that hole with your soul's truth that you are infinite, you are loved, and you are already there. Are you waiting on someone else before you can take the big leap? What if you were to take life into your hands and forge your own unique path? Put your heart into action and ask yourself, what risk can you take to move towards your dream? And we talked about risk. Like, why is this risky? Why is this risky? Because to face this past for you is risky. Yes. Make a decision and do it. Indecision. Make a decision and do it. And we saw the two of swords. It may not be right there no more. High priestess. Yeah, we probably shuffled the deck and it went away. But hi, indecision is right here. Indecision is right here. Make a decision and do it. No more waiting for others. Do it scared. Take the leap. Another card about courage. And look, they're out now. Now they're out. Those three. Burned all the way down to the nothing. Released it. Whatever it was, it released it. Because you deserve love. Releasing honeymoon, you go on a honeymoon after you get married, okay? Unrequited love, unrequited love is there. Unrequited love is back. True love is here. True love. Let your friends help you. Who is your friends? Your friends in the spirit, all those spirits that surround you. Something has to do with something with finances and career, and we also see new love on the horizon. See, finances and career. It could be something to do with your career that you don't want out. It could be um, this person may want money from you, using something from your past. I'm getting blackmail energy, you know, to kind of use you for money based on something that they know about you from the past. Almost like extortion or some shit. Wedding. See, honeymoon comes after the wedding. Damn, new love, new love coming. Stay optimistic. What is this? Religious factors in past life. Definitely something from past life cycle, past life issue. It's something from your past that's still holding you. And they want you to give that relationship a chance. You and this person definitely had chemistry, but you are healing. See that? You are healing. 
They want you to give this a chance for the sake of, but see, trust is in the middle. Can you trust this person? No, you can't. Healing family issues. See, look, you can't trust this person. Deception. Religious factors. I don't know what that's about. Y'all can have different belief systems. You know what I'm saying? I hear they think you're a witch <laughs> because of your gifts. Make the effort is here. When this new person comes in, make the effort. Get great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You're going to be guided to take steps. You see how this person just kissing you or smooching you? Yes, they love you. They love you, beloved. They do. Yeah, religious factors. This person thinks you're a witch. They didn't tell folks you're a witch. They didn't say something, right? But it's so it's safe for you to love again. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah, I feel children. Not the fact that you know you just children are affecting their relationship. They could be, but I feel like it could be something with the child in you that this person knows about. I don't know. But I feel like you've known this person for a very long time. The new person is definitely the one. They're going to make you feel like a child again. Playfulness. Freeing yourself. Coming out of this cycle, beloved. To be able to trust again. And I feel like you doing that healing self is going to heal family issues. It could break up a curse off of your lineage. You don't know. Flirt and romantic feelings. Somebody's going to start flirting with you. Y'all going to start getting to know each other. You're going to feel like this is worth the wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to express something. This person could come in expressing some shit. Expressing love and reconciliation. Right? Wanting you to just let go. Let go of control or whatever the case may be. And we see codependency. They are going to ask something. Addictions are affecting your love life. Your romantic life. Maybe you had a sense of codependency in the past. If you had self-esteem issues, that could have been you. And I feel like, again, that development of spiritual development, personal development, professional development, all of that building self up. And as you build you up, I'm feeling brick by brick by brick by brick. You changes your resonance. It changes your vibration. Stepping into your gift, using your intuition, following your gut. The most I got is get, I'm, I feel a throne, right? A throne, your gift is something that you have. This, this is four pentacle. Can we get it? Because we definitely, it's like up to the table, beloved. We can get out. See? I felt like you were kind of working on these, right? Almost feeling solid. They up underneath your feet. You holding this one. But this one is sitting on top of your head. So you have to be poised in order to balance it, right? Because it's not tied down to nothing. But it's something with that about the most I got putting this on top of your head. This opportunity, this download, something for you to hold on to. I feel like... um Self-assuredness is not just what you see, your vision, your third eye. It's almost what you know, what you understand, beloved. Like a knowingness that's just like beyond all things. Like something that nobody can take away from you. Like you know it. Like you know your name. Like I'm a brown-skinned girl with dreadlocks down to the to what? Like you can't tell me nothing about that. Like I know that and I hold on to that self-esteem. Yes. Growing it, loving self, leading to ultimate happiness, defeating a sense of loneliness, knowing that you are never alone, beloved. You're never alone. You're never a victim. You are a victor. You can take dark matter and turn it into light, beloved. And as you brighten up your own light, it's calling in a whole nother, another light. Somebody see that light. They see that light because it's so bright. They see it from... Hundreds of miles away. They <laughs> see that light. Like, what's that shining like that? I say, I say, I say, I say, I say. Okay. Mm. Anything else, beloved? No, no. This. 
a starting new beginning. <laughs> a new beginning. They just said it's a new beginning coming. Pretty much that's it. Thank you guys so much for sitting through it. Hashtag new beginning. Hashtag new love. Hashtag face it. Pretty much. To the next now. Love me like I love us. Because I love the alpha and the omega that made us. That called us to be the infinite intelligence breathing. The word lives in this day. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. To the next now, y'all. I shake.